All right, we're here with Doc Positive at Pause. And if you can see in the background there, the poster asks, is your cat protected against feline AIDS? A lot of people aren't even aware that there is such a thing as feline AIDS or FIV, the feline immunodeficiency virus. And FIV has been around for years. It is in the same family as HIV, human immunodeficiency virus. And it's predominantly a disease of uh, outdoor male cats because it's spread a lot through biting and fighting. Other cats can certainly get it, but the male cats, it's transmitted through deep bite wounds. And male cats are very territorial. They like to protect their yard. Uh, these kitty cats get a lot of bite wounds on the head and neck, their front feet. Uh, or if they've had enough, they get bit on the butt. And we have a, an intact male cat here named Noel. Noel is kind of like Claire. That's one of those names that uh, can kind of go male or female. Noel is a five-year-old. He's an intact male cat. He's not been neutered. Spends a great deal of time outside. And so he is very, very protective of his yard. The owner also, I think, has eight other cats at home. So. We examined this kitty cat. He came in for, uh, he's not holding his tail properly. So let's have a look here at Noel and see. This is Noel. And Noel's a gorgeous tuxedo kitty cat. If you can see his ear though here, if you look at his right ear and then if you look at his left ear, uh, you can see he's a, he's a scrapper. He likes to mix it up. He likes to fight. He's got a cauliflower ear on his uh, left side there from biting and fighting. He's got bite wounds. All of his teeth are busted off in here. I don't know if you can hold it. Yeah. And uh, his, his teeth are broken. You know, all of his canine teeth are broke off. But also, if you can see there how red his gums are. That was one of the things that clued us in with Noel is his gums. He's got really bad gingivitis. His gums are very irritated, and that is a hallmark in some of these kitty cats for feline AIDS and feline leukemia virus. So we finished our examination, worked our way back here to his tail. He's holding his tail odd, and so we had a look here, and I'm not sure if you can see right here, he almost made it away. Uh, that's, that's not his rectum. His rectum is below that. That big hole, he got bit on the butt and uh, that bite wound from another cat. Cats bite and fight. And when kitty cats bite one another, their canine teeth, that's like an injection of bacteria. And so that bacteria gets injected underneath the skin and it will tend to uh, develop into an abscess. So Noel got an abscess on his rectal area. It got big enough to where it did go ahead and burst. And consequently, that's a big hole there where the abscess burst. So we said, let's go ahead mom, with mom's permission. Mom's very upset, understandably, because of the bite wound, but also some of the other hallmarks here made us uh, want to run a test and so we did run the test for leukemia and AIDS. This is a blood test and this test it's a snap test so the blood goes in the window to the right there it comes across this window. This test checks for feline leukemia, checks for feline AIDS and it also checks for feline heartworm. And Noel here according to this test is positive for the feline AIDS virus. And so we're going to take a few minutes. We're going to counsel mom on what a positive feline AIDS test means. And uh, we'll uh, post some more information for you guys later on uh, to follow about Noel and his uh, feline AIDS infection. So remember, uh, the reason that we have this here is because uh, as it says, consider this, feline AIDS is deadly. If your cat goes outdoors, they're at risk. Protection 
This is an old poster. I like the poster because I love black cats. You guys know I love black cats. Everybody knows that. And uh, that vaccine has been available for years. And I think the first cat that I ever vaccinated against feline AIDS virus was my own cat when it first came out. I'm usually not the first one to use a vaccine when it first comes out, so we waited a couple of years, and uh, my own cats do also go outside, and they were the first cats that I know of in our practice to be vaccinated against the feline AIDS virus, and they continue to get vaccinated year after year. So more to follow on Noel and uh, FIV. Bye now. All right, one thing I did forget to show you is when I was lifting his tail, what catches your eye here is the big abscess cavity, uh, but what should catch your eye too, right down below that, are two man-sized testicles there. Uh, and at five years old, uh, intact male cat, he has got high levels of testosterone. These cats got a lot of testosterone, they become very protective, and they tend to get into a lot of fights. And, and that's how Noel was infected, was through biting and fighting with another cat in his neighborhood that has the FIV virus. Mom is now going to consider, go home, talk it over with her family, and consider whether or not to test the remaining cats in the household. So we will have more on that at a later date. All right, Doc Positive here at Paws. Doc Positive has a reputation as a dog guy. I suppose since my wife, Dr. Sammy, and I have nine dogs at home, that gives you a dog guy reputation. But hey, we love cats too. We have two and a half cats at home. You might ask yourself, what's a half cat? There's a story behind that. Check out YouTube Doc Positive Ralston. That will explain our half cat. But we love cats. We love dogs. We love pets. And it shows we got our cat lover magnets here. We're all out of dog lover magnets. You see those all over the Poconos. Cat lover, dog lover, pet lover. My pet loves my vet. We had those all made up, so uh, we are crazy about pets here at Paws. Uh, we're going to do a little video here telling about the different vaccines available for cats, focusing primarily on feline immunodeficiency virus. We just had a positive test for feline immunodeficiency virus, which we see every week over and over again, so a little background on feline immunodeficiency virus. Bye. Here spread out on the table in the exam room at PAWS, we have a variety of vaccines. The reason we have this is because we consider vaccines lifestyle dependent. Here you have the rabies vaccination, you have the feline immunodeficiency vaccine, feline distemper vaccine, feline leukemia vaccine, distemper combined with uh, feline AIDS, distemper combined with feline leukemia. So there's a whole host of vaccines, uh, lifestyle dependent, depends on where your cat lives, what your cat does. We do not have a one size fits all cookie cutter approach to vaccines for cats. The only vaccine required by state law in Pennsylvania is the rabies vaccine, and they even require it for indoor cats. I'm not sure I'm necessarily in agreement with that, but that's a whole nother video as well. But here we have the SNAP test kit. And these test kits, with the test kit comes the test itself, the pipette, the test comes in a foil pack, your reagent, and a tube. This test checks for feline heartworm, feline leukemia virus, and feline immunodeficiency virus. In this test here, you can see the dots on the test. We take the blood sample from the kitty cat. It really only takes two or three drops of blood. We mix it in the 
tube with the reagent and we get our results in eight minutes while you wait. And Noel, the kitty cat, just came up positive for feline immunodeficiency virus. And this test detects FIV antibodies, antibodies. So kitty cats that are vaccinated against feline immunodeficiency virus will develop antibodies and can show up positive on this test. But uh, Noel, intact five-year-old male cat has never crossed the threshold of a veterinarian anywhere. Not likely that he has antibodies from vaccine. He has naturally acquired antibodies through infection with the extent of his wound, his abscess on his rectal area, his gum disease, his other problems. And unfortunately, the fact that the owner had absolutely uh, no money to pursue treatment, he was not a particularly good candidate for treatment being feline AIDS positive with the extent of that wound because feline immunodeficiency virus, immunodeficiency virus uh, affects the immune system's ability to deal with other sorts of problems. So it uh, affects the kitty cat's ability to heal and consequently, the owner decided to euthanize this cat and not try and get it into the best little cat house in Pennsylvania. The real reason is because she has eight more cats at home that need to be tested, need to be vaccinated, and we will advise her because we are cat lovers here. We're going to advise her, test your kitty cats. Find out if they have feline immunodeficiency virus, feline leukemia virus, feline heartworm. We don't see much feline heartworm in this part. But then we'll advise her on which vaccines may be appropriate based on the lifestyle of her cats. Rabies, AIDS, distemper, leukemia, combination vaccines. So uh, we just wanted to share with you that a whole lot goes into deciding uh, which cats to test, vaccinate, treat, and so forth. And above all, one size does not fit all here at PAWS. All right. Bye now.